Eight news of the weekend. I mean, it was wildly over the top, even though apparently it was a more restrained and slimmed down coronation than it might have been otherwise. Charles and Camilla uh, were indeed enshrined as monarchs, everyone. And uh, I, it went down exactly as I would have thought. Kim, you did, I wouldn't have thought you'd watch it wall to wall, but you did watch it pretty much a lot, right? I did get up early and I did <laughs> see part of it. I didn't watch the whole thing, but I did watch the last part uh, when they emerged from the tent mm -hmm. and had the fancy hats and did the walk of shame to the carriage. Uh, all of that. I did see this uh, the part. fancy hats. You mean crowns? Yes. Yes. Wow. <laughs> That's a real, um, okay. Well, and then, yeah. um, uh, please don't mm -hmm. diminish the monarchy by calling them fancy hats. Little fancy hat? That is a fancy hat. Now, what is that thing he's holding? He's holding one thing as a scepter, but what's scepter, the other thing? That globe? The is the, uh, bottle of, sh what is it? Sham, Sham Bottle of Chanel? Uh, what? no, it is the, the, uh, the ball. That's the ball and the scepter. You What's know. the ball, though? I'm sorry, I don't know. The Receive the royal scepter. Yes, uh, I... Receive the rod of equity and mercy. You know, I had hoped, I had my eyes on the rod of equity and mercy in eBay, and <laughs> now I realize that it's gone, probably for, you know, the length it's... of his reign. What? If you could yeah. smash it with a rod of equity and mercy, we'd smash be so appreciative. with your iron rod. <laughs> I heard those two uh, things, and I did send them immediately to Albert. I said, these are drops waiting to happen. Now, it was a drop fest. You could have lifted a bunch of other things, and maybe I'll go back and do that. But the two that we have are the equity and mercy. Play them again, please, Albert, if you would. And, um, and uh, Receive scepter. the rod of equity and mercy. Yeah. Receive the royal scepter. The royal scepter. scepter. Yeah, the royal scepter. Oh. We should all have a royal scepter. If you don't have one in your home, you should. We all need royal scepters. We're all the kings and queens of our domains. So uh, these are a couple of the <laughs> of the memes that were going <laughs> Now, what is this, Albert? This is uh, Charles looking through Harry's book, Spare. <laughs> that's pretty terrific harry was there he was in the third row and then this is the picture that was going around twitter and people were speculating that this was Meghan markle which is a, a, a stretch but you know i i mentioned a tinfoil cap earlier this is it, a tinfoil cap moment it is a it's somebody in disguise though isn't it it does look like a disguise, so I, I can see where it's coming. And she has a Hollywood background, so... You know, on the old uh, Geraldo show, they'd bring on people who were disguised like that. You know what I mean? Clearly, we've disguised <laughs> his actual identity, so that, that, you know, and that's the way it looks. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, Harry uh, kind of hit it and quit it, didn't he, Kim? He kind of came and, he, you know... Yeah, it was a quick Kind trip. of like... He was gone before they cut the cake type thing, you know, like a wedding. Okay. He was not invited to stand on the balcony right. or hang out with the, with the working royals. He was seated by his uncle, uh, Andrew, who had, an, uh, you know, after the run-in with Epstein. And oh, he, that's right. Yes, yes. So he, was, he was in trouble row on the third row. <laughs> he in the, he was, I got busted With row. the rest of the outcasts. That's right. Yes. And so after the uh, the coronation, he hopped in a car and off he went back to the airport, and that's that. Mm. Now, you said that John Daly sent us some yeah, pictures. I can't. For some reason, they're not loading in my system, but he oh, did. Okay. If I can manage to uh, get them in, okay. he sent so, some great pictures, and he even went to Kensington Palace, where Princess Diana lived, and there were some great uh some great notes tucked onto the gate, which is, oh. you know, notes to her saying forever our queen, forever our princess type of thing. So some people took the, a moment to go remember her instead of, you know. So receive the rod of equity and mercy. I mean, that's a good place to receive it too. There's really no bad place to receive the rod of equity and mercy, if I can make that point. So There's I mean, never been anything like this. Yeah, moving forward. <laughs> I think you should, you should know that anyway. Uh,
I'm kind uh, of scared of the rod of equity and mercy. Well, Sounds you're, you're supposed to be a little bit scared. Uh, mm. That's 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 appropriate. That's right. Um, so of being scared, there was a shadowy figure. That yes, Albert, show that. Video, yeah. This is wild. Look at this. There is literally this shadowy figure that appears. Look at that. What is that? Is that the person that crosses in the middle there? Yeah, the cross is in the middle. We'll show it again. You'll be able to see it. Look. You see? Boom. It looks like the Grim Reaper. <laughs> it does yeah, look like the Grim Reaper. Horror Reaper. Film. If you're listening on the podcast, it's certainly right in the center of the screen. Maybe jump on the YouTube feed and you can Who's see it. Who's that? I don't know who that is. But the that's, lighting and the, the shadow of death. That's what I that mean, is. I'll I mean, say it looks this. like he's holding a royal scepter, right? Yeah, or something. Yeah. Or something, yeah. The uh insanely well choreographed nature of this event would seem to have not allowed for this particular moment to have happen, but it did. So Receive the rod of equity and mercy. Uh, there is a quality, and I don't know if you agree with me on this, and I know some of you enjoy watching this stuff, and the pomp and circumstance certainly can be, um, I, I think some people really enjoy that, and it can be a, a really fun kind of thing. Um, and beyond the fact that it costs all that money and that, you know, the monarchies, uh, I thought we were kind of done with them and all that sort of thing. I mean, you can have that conversation, and we have in the ramp up. And we had it with with Britishers who, you know, were on um, some of them sort of agreeing that, oh, it's all just sort of, you know, hooey and others saying, no, no, it's important and it's a long tradition. But there is a quality. So I'm putting all that aside for a moment when you watch it. And I just watched uh, chunks of it on YouTube after the fact. There's a quality of absurdity to it, though, isn't there? I mean, there's just so much dress up and so much ceremony and as he sat there on the throne and they presented him with that crown it just seemed silly to me but again that's an american i mean through and through looking at this thing which is a holdover i mean it just feels as though we've outgrown it and yet it's still there plus it, i i don't know that's the way it landed with me I understand, and as I say, we've kind of run out everything in terms of the uh, importance uh, slash um, uh, tourist attraction, etc. How much did the last few presidential inaugurations cost? Uh, probably too much, Eric asks. And even as they cost too much, nowhere near what the coronation cost. Now you could say, well, Mark, they didn't do a, they don't do coronations every four years. Okay, that's a fair point, I think. Need to change to drop uh, the drop to smash it with your royal scepter. Yeah, uh, Dora, I don't think there is a smash it with your royal scepter drop, but we came as close as we. Uh, but we'll see. We'll work with it. Anyway, there just was a quality of silliness to it to me, but uh, that's just the way it landed to me. That's all. Uh, uh, what is that? What is that? Is that me? Is that, oh, that's this over here. I, so. I was, I was, yeah, because I was doing the tweeting. Whoever um, is hosting this yeah, thing. It would be nice if one of you <laughs> would tweet once in a while. I'd appreciate it, but I guess Twitter, I've got to do that? everything. I Facebooked. I've been Facebooking. I don't know. That's if you know great, because I think a lot of our yeah. audience actually is on Facebook. A lot of the old KGO audience is on Facebook, and they don't realize that we're here on YouTube. So those who want to find us can find us if those of you on YouTube, like Kim, can share just the link, the YouTube link, and say, hey, the Mark Thompson show that used to be on KGO, it's on, you know, YouTube, whatever. Uh, hi, it's Mark, and I thought that was great. Hit the notification bell, you'll know whenever there's a new video being dropped, and please subscribe to our channel to help us save the universe.